I'm gonna mess up my hair. No, 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 hold on. I'll help you, okay? I can do it. <laughs> 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 Good morning, pearls. It is grocery shopping day. We're pretty excited because today, not only are we buying all of the grocery groceries that we need for the entire month, we ventured a little bit further than normal. And we are going to be going to a business Costco. We are kind of like sick of the like normal snacks that our Costco had. So my sister-in-law has told me about the business Costco. Anyways, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you guys along with us in store. Then um, we'll bring you back home and walk you through everything we bought and also doing a price breakdown per item and then giving you a grand total on how much it costs for us to stock up for the entire month. Okay, you guys, and this video is actually in collaboration with Phillips Fam Bam. They are one of my favorite YouTube channels that I recently have stumbled upon. I actually stumbled across them a couple months ago, actually, when I was looking up Costco hauls on YouTube. And so it's so perfect that we are collaborating today. So I'm doing a big giant grocery haul, and then they're gonna be doing a grocery haul well as well to kind of give you guys ideas on different things that families are liking, foods that their family like, foods that our family likes, kind of like their go-tos and oh, it's gonna be so good, so fun. So once you're done with this video, I'll have links down in the description box below. Just hit that little carrot down there and um, it'll take you guys to their video and you guys can see what they did today. And you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button. Danny and Tina are so so fun. They do grocery hauls, all sorts of different grocery hauls, Costco, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, all of the awesome stores. And then they also do Cook With Me, Kids Daddy, in the Kitchen, all of those types of things. So um, definitely go over to their channel. All right, so we're going to head into Target, but um, I'm... I'm probably not gonna film a lot in Target, but once we get over to business Costco, I will kind of show you guys if there's anything different that we find as far as pricing and items and that kind of stuff, then um, we'll take you guys home. So the first thing right off the bat is there's tons of like commercial equipment, but you know, we're here for the food. So, so far everything, I think they have the same sales and stuff, maybe even a couple things that are a little bit different, but this is one thing I wanted to get because the kids are getting better at helping around the house and I thought this would be good. So it's only $11.50 for a five pack of the Clorox disinfectant wipes. So that's great. Way more candy options here. Lots more options of different types of granola bars. So they have Luna, Cliff bars, lots of different options of the Nature Valley than just the like normal one kind of Nature Valley bar that we have our Costco, then they have, of course, the Kirkland brand, more Luna, and then, ooh, even some Kashi, and then these types of granola bars. Lots of options. I've never seen this variety pack of the goldfish. Usually it's just the regular individually packed goldfish, but this one has the flavor blasted color pretzels and then the gram ones, and it's even on sale for only $10. Really, just so many options. Look at these. I've never seen these ones before at Costco. The mango apple, chia, cherry apple. Hmm. This is really what I'm so excited about coming to the store. There's just aisles and aisles and aisles. We're really looking for different varieties of snack foods rather than like the same five boxes of crackers that our local one just kind of recycles, cycles through. Anyways. Really excited about the options. Lots of options of Mommy, cookies. Grandma has these, lots of different Let kinds of go. cookies. I don't usually buy cookies prepackaged, sometimes I do, but we just usually make them. But they have lots of choices here. And I specifically like that they're all prepackaged, making lunch prep super easy. Of course, anything that's individually wrapped a lot of times is gonna cost more per ounce, but that's not always true, so just check per ounce pricing. And sometimes you have to do the math, but you guys can do it, I believe in you. I've never seen these like individually packaged pistachios. So it's 24 count of one and a half ounces for $13.49. And then there's the big bulk one right there. Lots of different options for different types of 
um, trail mixes. This is the normal one that we would probably get sometimes for me and hubby. The kids really don't eat them, they just eat the M&Ms. But, like I said, more options here. Another thing I'm noticing is they have a lot of the same flavor of like chips, crackers, cookies, but just one flavor in each. But they still do have the variety packs in something. So like all of these chips are just the one flavor. And these are a lot bigger quantities. So you can see it's a 64 count of like the Cheeto, 64 count of Fritos, much bigger quantities than some of the things. Look at this. So there's a 12 count of this popcorn that normally you'd get like a four pack of bigger ones. This would make great gifts if you just like tied a ribbon around a few of them and you could get more out of it. Haven't ever seen this before. Butter, nearly naked, and kettle corn. 30 count for $12. We've never seen these before. The Hawaiian kettle style potato chips. It's a 30 count and I think I see up there that it is $12 for a 30 count of those. So we've never seen that option before. We've seen these at Costco before, a 30 pack of the pop chips. There's sour cream and onions, sea salt, and barbecue. Those are $12 for the 30 pack. And then there's also this variety of the Ridge Pot. Tangy, cheddar, and then just like the salt it looks like. Again, 30 pack for only $12. This store would be really good for like party supplies so especially we did little mini martinelli's for at my wedding but they were hard to find but it looks like there's lots and lots of like small individual portioned drinks at this business costco i mean drinks 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 at least three or four aisles of drinks and then of course all of the like bulk produce holy moly and they're like this section is way huge. And look, it just goes and goes and goes. Holy cow, just like cheeses and milks and yogurts, creamers. Looks like meat over there, like turkey breasts, bacon. Okay, now look at these. I'm trying to see if I can get the prices in here for you guys. But these are just like bulk deli meats that you'd have to use a slicer to slice yourselves. $4.29 per pound for like salami, $2.19 for black forest ham. So if you have a slicer at home and you're into it, this looks like it's gonna be a lot cheaper than buying it pre-sliced. And then just lots of bulk meat. Like look at these. Pork sirloin, pork shoulder, huge racks of ribs, all sorts of meat in here way more options when it comes to like tortillas for like spinach wraps i've never seen those before and then just like giant size tortillas as well some things i'm noticing only come in giant size so this is a huge log cabin syrup but i don't see very many other options so it would be easier if we bought it at the other costco so i'm just going to hold off and see if we can make it through the month without getting syrup because <laughs> We don't have any way. I don't want to have to refill sticky syrup anywhere. And then also some of maybe your more basic things that you would buy in bulk rather than individually packaged. They don't have quite the variety such as cereal. So there's not like the shredded mini wheats that we usually get or that kind of stuff. All right, I'm home. I've got my haul ready to show you guys. And then of course, every time I get home from the grocery store, I always just do a quick little search in my favorite grocery rebate app, which of course I've talked about it so many times, but for me specifically, um, it is Ibotta. The main reason I like Ibotta so much is because it has almost every single store that I go shopping at. I like it even more because a lot of times it's the only rebate app that I have found that you actually can get rebates on things like fresh produce and then other things like non-name brand products. Like it could be any brand you want. And then what makes it even more awesome is you can claim your rebates as cash through PayPal or Venmo or if you're like me, you can claim your cash back as a gift card. I've done gift cards to Home Goods and Target. Those are kind of my two favorite ones. If you guys are interested in trying out Ibotta for the first time, you can use this code on the screen right here and that will automatically give you guys $10 
after you claim your first rebate. The consensus about the business Costco is that it has a lot of different options, but then if you're used to getting some certain things that you want at your normal Costco, they sometimes don't have it. Like there's not, I don't think they had diapers there, maybe they do. But, you know, it's kind of give and take. I can see myself going back to business Costco just to kind of mix it up every once in a while. So I really did like that. But there were a couple things that I was really hoping to be able to try. Specific specifically, I saw some things on Philips Fam Bam um, grocery haul from a couple weeks ago. Like they found these really yummy like pretzel bites. I didn't see the bites. I saw full pretzels at the business Costco. Um, big giant bag of boom chicka boom popcorn. Didn't have that. They had the mini bags. I showed you guys that. And then, um, there's one more thing they tried. That's what it was. It was the Olive Garden, um, salad dressing. I didn't see that at Business Costco either. I could have just looked over it because it was huge there. But anyways, um, of course, another reminder, don't forget that you guys can go and check out, um, Phillip's Fan Bam channel. It's so much fun. They have really fun personalities and they find really yummy stuff at all the super cool stores. So anyways, okay, let me show you guys what I got and how much it cost. Start at... Target, I got uh, two pounds of powdered sugar and then um, four pounds total of brown sugar, and those are about two dollars each. Then this was a splurge, of course, we need to stock up on these. And now I'm thinking, oh, I'll go, I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go the day after Easter, stock up on those when they go on clearance. Anyways, those are three dollars each, so that's kind of a splurge. Kids needed some new toothbrushes, this was $3.50, it's the Target brand. Then I got mild green enchilada sauce, mild. Green it <laughs> I thought I was getting a mild red and a mild green. Oh well, everyone likes the green, as long as it's mild. Those are about $1.50 each. We needed some more floss, that was about $2. Then I got two of these because they are good until um, the beginning of April, and we'll definitely eat both of those before April. So those are about $3 each. Then we needed some sour cream, and this sour cream is only uh, like $1.75 I want to say. Then I always stock up on just a little bit of ranch. We don't go through a lot of it. So this was $1.75 and then $2 for this big giant Target brand. It's a 38 ounce of ketchup. Then I got two cans of petite diced tomatoes. Those are about 75 cents each. Two boxes of a pound of elbow macaroni and those are a dollar each. Then we wanted to add a little variety into the bunch of oatmeal that we already have, and so that was $2.50. Little can of tomato sauce was about 50 cents, and then I also got two jars of red kidney beans, and those are about a dollar each. So from Target, I got this big, giant, 42-ounce um, can of old-fashioned oats. That's about $3. And then um, a canister, what is it? 48 fluid ounces of canola oil and that was around three dollars as well right now for everything that i got at business costco i'm excited for some new things that we're trying so first off all of the non-food stuff we got this classic 225 count of paper plates it's great because we have no dishwasher we probably won't for a while so we um use these when we like have guests and we just don't want to spend our whole time having doing dishes you know Usually people bring out the fine china, but not us. We bring out the paper plates. They are diamond brands, so that's kind of fancy. Um, then we needed to stock back up on the clean glass cleaner, and this is the best glass cleaner there is, and it's only around like $6 for these four big spray cans, which will last us at least six months. Maybe less now that we have so many mirrors and the kids are actually doing it, but I'm getting the kids to clean, and so I'm calling that a win. And speaking of which, I used to think that these Clorox wipes were a waste of money because it's a lot. I think if you get the spray and paper towels, it goes a lot further, but the kids are doing a lot more cleaning, like I said, and these are just a lot easier, and every kid doesn't need their own spray, and every kid isn't just going wild with the spray everywhere. So anyways, I was excited about this. It is a five pack, 390. Um, I showed you guys at the beginning how much that cost, right? And I get asked a lot like what my opinion is as far as a good quality toilet paper that isn't super expensive. Kirkland is great. Charmin, I've heard from plumbers that it just clogs your drain, so it's really not that great. But I think this Kirkland brand, if we get a this big giant pack what is it 30 rolls 425 sheets per roll 
if we get this, it lasts us two months. And that's for a family with little kids who are constantly <laughs> flushing the toilet. Anyways, that's $16. Recently been converted to this Kirkland microwave popcorn. You get 44 bags, and I wanna say that this is around $10. Then we um, got this oven roasted turkey breast, which is like the same thing, same price as the normal Costco. So this is $12.20, it's $6.89 per pound. I showed you guys this, we ended up getting one of these boxes and that was just about $10 for the four different varieties. Then I got the 10 pound bag of sugar for only $5, which is an amazing deal. Don't buy your baking supplies anywhere else if you're using a lot of them. Then I did notice that their bread seemed to be a lot cheaper, not the like, name brand, like Oro Wheat brand, that was the same price as the normal Costco. But they had this old country sliced sourdough bread and that was only $2. Then they had Sara Lee brand bagels, which are actually my favorite. I don't love the Costco like bakery bagels. And those are usually um, $6 for two dozen and this was $5 for two dozen. Then I showed you guys all of the tortillas and their prices. We ended up getting the green wrap tortillas and then the big giant um, 12 inch flour tortillas and you buy them separately at the business Costco like where normally you would buy a two pack comes together but you pay for them individually but it works out to be the same price. I needed some heavy whipping cream again another thing that you should always buy at Costco because they have the best price there um, and so this is a half a gallon and I want to say it was around five dollars. Again with the bread we got two loaves and I want to say it was six dollars for those two nice sized loaves. We also got two 20 ounce bags in one package of the Wheat Thins and that's just about $8. Then um, we got four gallons all together but two gallons of whole milk works out to be about um, $5 for the two, so $2.50 per gallon. Then um, we love getting these and keeping them in the fridge just to throw on the go. We need a lot of just like grab foods because we are packing our lunches and packing our dinners way more now that we're living so far out from everything. 24 ounce, 24 3.17 ounce pouches of the applesauce and that works out to be around $10 for that. Then they don't have the normal like, um, usually when I buy the shredded cheese, it's like two individual bags. So I'll like just throw one in the freezer and we'll eat one until it's gone. So I'm gonna have to package these down. Not a big deal, but I do think this is a little bit cheaper. And I wanna say that this big giant five pound bag was around $11. So again, works out to be about the same price. These are something that we've bought before at the normal Costco, 25 packs of four Belvita. These are really great. The kids love them. They kind of have a, a cinnamon flavor in them. There's no like um, obvious nuts or anything like that. So the kids love these and those are just about um, $10 for this pack of 25. Then we got some of these pop chips that I was showing you guys. And then we also got some of these Hawaiian chips. And do you guys know that we've been trying to stay away from chips, but I just had to try these two different varieties. I just had to. Got these gluten-free crispy sea salt chips. Well, actually they're baked crackers. We love them. Usually I buy two of them, but I thought, oh, we're getting a lot of salty treats. <laughs> So um, this big giant 20 ounce bag was, I wanna say seven or eight dollars. It's kind of expensive, but they're delicious. Worth the splurge. We also got um, corn beef brisket. We like doing corn beef tacos. Corn beef tacos are delicious. Don't knock them until you try it. It's so good. As you can see, it's $4.99 per pound, which worked out to be about $14. Then this is the best price I've ever seen on all right up um, french fries. And I think next time I go there, I'll stock up on tater tots but this giant eight pound bag was only like six dollars amazing price butter was just about the same price as at normal costco so i bought two of them because we're doing a lot more baking um since we don't live next to anywhere where we can get convenient yummy treats so um but these were about twelve dollars about twelve dollars per package i like to switch back and forth between these chicken nuggets and the dinosaur chicken nuggets. So this is a five pound and it was on sale. So this five pound bag was actually only $7. We got five dozen eggs were about $12 and I always, always, always get comments on how expensive our eggs are. California has certain laws. I think that's what makes certain laws for chickens. And I think that's what makes our eggs so expensive because that's just the price they are here. And that's actually a really good price for San Diego. 
And then the last fun thing that we're trying out were this 36 count of the individually packaged pirate booty. The boys were so excited about these. Okay, are you guys ready? Are you ready to find out how much we spent? So um, if you're curious on, like we did not, I didn't buy very much meat. Actually, did I buy any? I missed the roast. <clears throat> so if you notice, we didn't have that much. So make sure to check out all the links down below, which will explain why we only meal plan for five meals a week. And um, I do spend $25 per week for fresh produce and milk. So I have some videos and blog posts that explain all of that stuff for you guys and go more into detail about our family budget and all that kind of stuff that we love to share with you guys. Hopefully you guys can take what we're doing and tweak it a little bit to help your family save money so you guys can live your dream life on less. Okay, so for the total, so for all of the food, we spent just around $260, but we probably are gonna spend the rest of that budget, the rest of our $40 to make it up to $300 budget um, because they didn't have some things like, I do need to stock up with some ground beef, so maybe I stocked up on, so maybe what I'll do is see if Zaycon Fresh is gonna have a deal. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I talk all about Zaycon. I haven't really experienced it yet. If you're new to it, I mean, I'll have to do a video on it and I'll leave a link down below as well if you guys want to check it out because it's just like fresh bulk meat at really amazing prices that um, is actually brought to you from local farms in your area. Anyways, I just ordered 40 pounds of chicken. I already have that ordered. It's coming in a few weeks, so we're good on chicken and... Um, so anyways, we'll use the rest of that budget for some meat. And then um, there's a couple small things. Like I think I need to buy some stew meat and I only need a little bit. So I'm gonna go to Sprouts probably tomorrow and use up the rest of that $40. And then for all of the non-food items, we only spent about $60 of our $160 budget, but there's a few things that I'm gonna purchase online, like we need a pooper scooper for our backyard. <laughs> and we need um, and a couple little things, other little things that I'm going to order from Amazon, like a little hair net to cover when Kennedy, um, and I share about all of those purchases on my Instagram. That's the best way to follow me and keep like up to date on frugal living tips. So anyways, there you guys have it. That is our entire grocery haul for the month, month of March, 2018. I hope you guys thought that was fun going to the business Costco. I was really excited about it. And I do plan to go back occasionally just to kind of mix things up a little bit and um, get some new flavors into our family's house. And thanks so much to the Phillips Fam Bam for collabing with me. I'm so excited to see what they've done. Make sure you guys go and check out and see their grocery haul as well that went live today. I have a link for you guys down below. And welcome to anyone that's new from the Fam Bam channel. This is where I share all ideas on how to help you guys save money in all areas of your life so that way you can actually spend it where you want to. Thanks you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.